back to Michelle Gay Science Teacher Classroom. Today, we're going to be looking at density. Are you curious as to why I'm looking at rocks and what do rocks have to do with density? Well, stay tuned for this video and you will find and learn about density and how things float or sink based on their density. density. Density is a physical property. It tells us how much space a substance will occupy. For instance, water is 1.00 grams milliliter. Well, if an object has more density than water, then it will sink. But if it has less density than water, that object will float. Well, what does that have to do with rocks that I'm looking at? Well, geologists who study rocks, they look at rocks to see if they're porous, meaning do they have holes in them? Well, this particular rock, which is a rose quartz, it does not. And then the other rock I was looking at, which is a calcite, is not porous either. Well, they look for the porous type rocks because with porous rocks, it traps in the natural gas and oil. And when those two are formulated together, it is petroleum, all that we use in everyday life. Did you know that with petroleum, there are all kinds of materials that we use like rubber ducts. Some of those are made of petroleum, even some of cosmetics, like this lipstick I have on, has petroleum or oil in it. And it is a refined oil, not like we put in our car for traveling or for other engines and motors that we need oil to use for. They have formulated and changed this oil so that we can use it with materials in everyday life. Well, we're going to look at density. We're going to do an experiment and you're going to make some predictions about density, which objects will float and which objects will sink. First, we're going to take this clear cup and we're going to pour in our water. Now, I have water, honey, and some oil. Now, which one do you think will sink to the bottom? Which liquid? Which liquid do you think will be in the middle? And which liquid do you think will be on top? So think about these three items or liquids and what I've told you from the beginning. Make your prediction. All right. Let's test it out and see. Let's start with our water.
So observe this and notice the three, oil, water, remember I just put food color in that one, and honey. All right. Oil is what density compared to water? Is it a greater density or lesser density? Honey compared to water, greater density or less density? All right, so you're thinking about that, and now we're going to test our objects. Before I put the object in or drop it in, I want you to make your prediction and decide if it's going to float or sink. Remember, objects that float have a lesser density than water. Objects that sink will have a greater density than water. So, did you say that corn, this, uh, yeah, corn, um, honey has a greater density than water and oil has a lesser density than water? If you did, then you're correct. All right, so let's first look at the penny. Will the penny float? Or will it sink? Let's test. What did you say? See if we can observe and see. The penny sunk to the bottom. All right. Let's look at this paper clip. Will it float? Or will it sink? Make your prediction. Oh my. What did it do? Where did it land? It did not float. If you can see it, it's hanging in between right there in the honey. So it still has what? Greater or lesser density than water. Okay. Let's try the bead. Okay, the bead float, floated at the top. Now we're going to try this piece. It's a pipe cleaner and it has a little thin wire in the middle. Do you think it will float or sink? Look at it. Okay, notice where it's sitting. It is sitting right on top of the water. Right on top of the water. It Does it have a greater or lesser density than the oil because of where it landed? Okay, let's try the marble. All right, and you felt a marble before. You know marble has a lot of mass. Let's see. Okay, the marble sunk, All right? Can you see that? All right, now we have our tack. Float or sink? Okay, it definitely sunk all the way down. Let's try this little ball. Kind of has like, feels like plastic to me. What do you think? Float or sink? Oh, look. Look where this one landed. Can you see where it's sitting? Shouldn't shake it. It is sitting right on top of the water. Let's look at our cork. Where will it land? Will it land in the water? 
Will it stay on top of the oil? Where will it go? Let's see. Up, oh, the cork stayed right on top of the oil. And this last one is a jelly bean. Float, sink, greater density than water, less density than water. Oh, look, let's see. It went to the bottom. All right, so observe where all of the pieces went that we dropped in. And I want you to come up with a statement. Which objects have a greater density than water? Which objects have a lesser density than water? Are there any objects that have a lesser density than oil? So if you were to rank these in order from least density to greatest density, which objects would you put in that order? So let's look at the least density. We have our bead and our cork. Okay. Greater density, we have our marble, penny, and let's see anything else. Our thumbtack, jelly bean, And eventually that little clear ball floated to the bottom. Those are our objects that have least density and then the objects that have a greater density. What are some other objects we could have tested to see the density compared to the water? Write those down and then I want you to make a column using oil water and you can use corn syrup instead of honey. Corn syrup is better because it's clear and you can get a better look uh, of the objects that float and sink. Also come up with other objects that you can test out and try this experiment on your own. As I said earlier I was looking at my rocks to see if they were porous. And I found out that the two that I was looking at was, were not porous. So if, so, uh, if the uh, oil drillers were going out to drill oil and the geologists look at this particular area ahead of time and they saw this type of rock, they would tell them not to drill in this area because there's no oil or natural gas trapped in these types of rocks. They're looking for rocks that have holes in them so that that traps in the oil, traps in the natural gas, and then they can get the petroleum out. Petroleum is a non-renewable resource and it comes from hundreds and hundreds of millions of years ago that's trapped in these rocks. And so it's non-renewable because we're just continually to take out what we have. And eventually we may run out or it gets harder to find it. We're going to talk some more about oil drilling and what happens if there's an oil spill. What would you need to do in order to protect our animals, sea life, and the lives of others? And how do they actually clean up a large oil spill? Well guys, that's the end of today's video and I hope that you've enjoyed it. I will see you next time at Michelle Gay Science Teacher Classroom. Have a wonderful and great day.